What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Arena, and today we are going through something else on the Ainz account. You probably saw us talk about it earlier, but one thing we have not done just yet either, and again, it is very late, we will get these out much, much sooner in the future, and that is Alna's Arena of Trials. We need to get those rewards, see what we can actually get out of that. Not too bad. So this one, I'm really excited for this hero. Of course, being that this is kind of like the light account, Ein's account, whatever, it's, it seems fun. But um, yeah, let's go through these battles. I wanna see her in action. She looks like a really, really cool hero overall. So we do have some setups that should work pretty easily here. So we will get them going and we will watch the combat. Probably go at two times speed just to see how she actually performs. But I mean, even with that, like it's hard to see where she actually is back here. And it's hard to see her buffs, the little swirl that she does around her allies as well. That was like utter destruction. Wow. Okay. I mean, first one done pretty easy. Let's jump on to the second battle. We're going to do a very similar setup. But we definitely want our Thalia on the top section in slot three this time just so that she can pretty much disrupt that so he cannot CC us, he cannot do his nice little tornado, should be good overall. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see her little buff that she gives out, but her AoE is really, really nice to lower the haste of the enemy team. I really, really want to build her, but I just don't know if we're going to be able to. We probably won't build her on this account for quite a while. We might build it on Moby's old one, though. The VIP 16 account. All right, got those two knocked out. Let's jump up to the next one. We're going to have a whole different setup. This time we are actually going to put her in the front row. We are also going to put you right there. We're going to throw in our uh, Wukong. I think that setup should work here. I think that's good. We'll actually go to four times speed. I really want to, I'm hoping to find somebody that actually has her built to at least ascended um, so we can jump on and start play testing with her and everything. I have yet to find someone that's actually building her though. It seems like a lot of people don't have the resources or are not spending for her right now, but she does look like a really, really cool hero. Uh, that Taylene is being really annoying here. Come on, just get Mr. Fatty gone and we'll be good to go. That big old lick. There we go, perfect. Nice, nice, nice. We're actually gonna use this same exact lineup for the next two as well, going up on the left side there. So this lineup should work for quite a few of the battles. Actually, yeah, it's gonna finish. It's almost gonna go all the way up the left side until we have to change our team out. Ooh, that's not bad. She's got, she seems like she's got some decent damage, but I don't know. Wukong putting in work that time. What was her damage like? I mean, she did have the highest damage. Her healing is really good though. I love her healing that she has. Next one up, we are going to be using the exact same lineup once again. And I don't think I've really seen anybody that used a lot of these uh, these setups. I don't think I've seen them actually fail. Come on, finish it up. God, it's always so annoying fighting him. <laughs> Especially since half the time you got to start the fight over anyway. Come on, make it faster. Go, go, go. You got this. Sometimes I don't actually like using Daimon in our fights. I, I know that's how I say her name, um, or his name. I should call him Tix for all the Idol Heroes fans out there, because that's pretty much what this hero is. Um, we're going to put you in the front, Oscar, and Chicken Man. You know, the more I've used him in 
the uh, Abyssal Expedition. I'm really loving his ultimate, the just group everybody up, especially when you mix him with Zap. Like the combo is awesome. I absolutely love it. We're actually going to stick to the exact same setup on the top right one right over here. We're not changing. Actually, no, we're going to change the back to Oscar and Chicken Boy, Chicken Man, whatever you want to call him, you know. But that's going to be good. This lineup works for a lot of these fights as well. Good, good, good. I like it. That's good. We're going to come on down to the next one. And we are just going to swap Zap to the back row on this one. Let them go face to face against each other. And there we go. Get that nice grouping together. If only Zap already had an ultimate, but he is asleep. Come on, right here, Zap. You got this. You got this big ultimate. Lots of damage. Nice, nice, nice. That one is easy. Good to go. Let's jump on down to the next fight. Now we're going to have to change our lineup up a little bit. We are going to drop you out and throw you in there. You're going to drop you out, throw in Titus, and that should work, I believe. Pretty sure it will. Titus is another hero. I never really used Titus or considered him as one of my heroes but the more i used him in the draft the battle of the blood uh i really started enjoying his hero like a lot which is kind of cool that like the battle of the blood kind of makes you enjoy a hero that you've never even used before it's like you get to sample all the different heroes so i hope i hope they bring that back maybe even just the actual arena that would be cool if not hopefully in extra events as well but Wow, this one was not even a competition in this. Uh, this was a slaughter. <laughs> I'll know with so much healing output, I bet. Same with Rosa. Rosa's probably putting work on this one. All right, come on, Tassie. Just go down, will you? All right, thank you. Finally. <laughs> Took you long enough. Uh, Yeah, look at that healing right there. Wow. Was not expecting that. All right, we are going to put you in. We're going to keep you in that position right there. We're going to throw in a Thalian with a Rowan and a Leica. There we go. I like this team, actually. This lineup seems like a really cool lineup. Ooh, she went down really early, but I think we should have what we need. Athalia seems like she's going to put in a ton of work here. Plus, we got Licking Tongue, so, you know, we're good there. <laughs> There's no way he can defeat us. Nope. There we go. All right. So we got that one done. And then we just have one last battle to go. And we're pretty much going to use the same exact lineup, except put Rowan up in the three slot back there. And this should do it. It looks good. And then we'll just go around collecting our rewards afterwards. But I want to make sure you guys got to see exactly how every fight goes in case you're struggling with any or if you haven't looked up any guides you can always check this out so let me know what you guys think again we'll probably in the future we're going to make these essentially we're going to take the time to uh make sure we do them on the test server so you guys have the information before it even gets to live servers because we do have that access unlocked there so that is good get you over there let's grab this one actually go back down the bottom grab you then grab you we can just double click and just move our way all the way up in a nice pattern it's always one of the easiest ways is working from the bottom of the screen back up to the top and then of course we can unlock the final chest yes thank you very much there we go and finish get that elite hero shards and we are done so i'll not hopefully we can build her on one of her accounts she seems like such a cool hero i wish I wish her wolves were actually, you know, I mean, very gaming. We got a husky wolf, you know, it would be really cool to have her. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hopefully it helped you out. And I'll see you guys next time.